Hey everyone, welcome to DNL Team Hangout Thursday night. Uh, hopefully, everybody remembered it's on Thursdays now instead of Tuesdays. Uh, we decided, uh, but we have a show. I think we explained last time we have a really fun outing we do um, on Tuesday nights in the fall on our Harley and stuff. So, um, hopefully, Thursday night works for everybody. And um, hopefully everybody remembered and got you know any emails that they needed to get to remind them. But if um, what I want to do right now is just um, introduce myself. I'm Lori Smith of the DNL Team Hangout. I'm the L. Uh, as you notice, I don't have the D sitting right next to me because he's in Denver, but he is with us. Are you there, Dave? I am here. Can you hear me? See, there you are. You're at yep, the hotel. I am here. It's just like I'm there. Yeah, it is. Okay, but I'm here. So it, it is September 5th. I can't believe it's September 5th. I'm not going to go on a rant about summertime being gone, but it is. I'm sad. It's moving out, but I love fall, so we'll enjoy it. Um, so welcome to DNL Team Hangout. Uh, we want to talk a little bit today about paychecks and promotions. Uh, hopefully you've watched some of the SOC TVs we'd have going on. We've got some fabulous people who've joined the Send Out Cards uh, family here in Salt Lake City, and uh, um, you've met two of them on SOC TV just yesterday. One is Vanessa. Welcome, Vanessa. We love her. She's fabulous. 25, I think 25, 23, 25 year veteran in um, knowing how network marketing works. I'm, and I'm sad. It's even out, but I love fall. Oh, do I need to? to uh, Sorry. Use? Do I need to? Oh, that was me. That's oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, anyway, and then uh, Steve, and I don't remember. Oh no, not what's his name? No, no, no. You no. don't know anything. But what no, are you doing? No, the guy in uh, inter the internet guy. C C I O guy, yeah, I T guy. What's Steve his Terry. name? Steve, Steve Terry. Yeah, yeah Steve yeah. Terry. Okay, so I was right. It wasn't Terry Steve. It was Steve Terry. That's right. Okay. So you know me with names. I thought you was gonna yeah. spill some beans there for a minute. No, no. Mm -mm. Because when Cody I, says on SOC TV that he's not done yet, he ain't done yet. And uh, yet. we got more coming. And you, you know what? You, well, we won't go there. I don't like to spill beans because I don't like to have to clean them up. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we have some fun, fun things happening at corporate. Met some fabulous people this week. Fun, exciting things coming up. Um, Denver Treat em Right, where Dave is right now, they um, will happen Saturday morning. And um, and so will the uh, uh, Friday night, the SCT uh, school and um, well, first off, yeah, first off, we do a SCT school. That's senior certified training school. That's done before a treat em right. The Friday before every treat em right nowadays, and that's uh, from noon to five is training. Uh, Jimmy Dick takes an hour and a half and goes through the basic training uh, course. Uh, teaching senior certified trainers how to teach basic training, more or less, uh, and uh, then Jordan comes up for an hour and a half, and he and he does the certified training portion, which is basically talking about uh, the golden goose, how to protect the golden goose, why we have certain presentations and certain languages that we use during your presentations, and why you don't want to make income claims, and why you don't want to do some of the things you do. That's what certified training is. You need to know the rules and regs of of uh, protecting the golden goose. Let's just put it that way. And then uh, Demar comes up for about an hour and a half and does uh, um, compensation or fly fishing. And, uh, he he tries to talk about fly fishing correctly, uh, uh, but he's supposed to teach compensation plan, which he does a great job. And then afterwards, Jimmy Dick comes up for another 30 minutes and does the success factor, and that's the end of the SCT school. Friday nights is an opportunity meeting from 7 to 8. And then uh, Saturday, Treat and Write Seminar, 9 to 5. Uh, it's exploding weekend. I'm in Denver right now. As you can tell, you, I'm in one of those Marriott hotels that have the inside terraces and re restaurants and things like this. So I, if you look behind me, there's, <coughs> there's balconies of other folks that that are staying here. So that's their There's balconies. Hotels. I love uh, I'm in my room. They're so fun when you're in your room. You can I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? Are you there? There, that's better. Okay. Yeah. So I love that hotel you're at because you can actually see everybody that's meandering around there and, they, and um, watch everything that's going on. 
<laughs> right. And, and, and well, and it, so it's such an open, big place that prospecting is easy to do. You know, it, it's not like you're going to go out and just tackle people and tell them about your product and your opportunity. That's not what you do. You, you strike up conversations and, and, and uh, they ask you why you're here. You say, well, I'm here at a seminar that teaches me how to make money by, by uh, being nice to people, right? <laughs> and they say, well, what does that mean? And I says, well, I could teach you how to be nice to people and make some money at the same time as well. And then you, you take the video out and hand them a video and whatever you do there. So um, yeah. invite them to Treat Them Right. If you're on a Treat Them Right weekend, you invite them to the opportunity meeting that night or the Treat Them Right the next day. It makes for some great prospecting. And the reason I went into that is because usually I'm very busy at these events and Lori is out in the hallways and the, and the different places prospecting. <laughs> and uh, she's brought many of guests into the Treat Them Rights and the opportunity meetings because she she has the freedom to go out during these events to talk to people and and it's a fun it's a fun thing. So uh, the reason why Lori's not here with us is her dad is is not doing real well health wise, and at the time we were booking these tickets, that is, he's doing fine now. He's doing great now, much better. But at the time we were booking the tickets, uh, he wasn't doing so well. So we didn't end up bringing Lori uh, to this event, uh, and it's kind of rough. That way, but you, but you know, I guess we could do a Skype call like this or a Hangout call. You know, it's yeah. kind of fun, huh? You know what? All right, so uh, on with the topic. Well, I wanted just to say, if anybody wants to send him a card of encouragement, he would probably love that. So um, we'll give an address after this if you want to do that. If not, that's fine too. But he'd love a card of encouragement. He just real quickly. I won't get into it. Has. Um, some re some lung cancer has reoccurred and he's 76 years old and kind of was a little depressed about it was going downhill quite fast actually he's decided to um, pick up the pace again so hopefully we've got quite a long time with him there's really nothing they can do for his lung cancer right now so um, we're enjoying what we have and hopefully that'll be a long time so if you feel like you want to send a card to him he'd probably love getting some um, motivational cards in the mail so and at the very end remind me Dave I'll give an address <laughs> well what we'll do is when we archive this week's uh, hangout on the website underneath the video I, I can easily add a, an address there but we will we will verbally tell you the address at the end but uh, uh, before you know just know that there, it's going to be written on the archives too so um, yeah. topic Lori okay. Topic, paychecks and promotions. And what better time to be promoting and getting paychecks is right now. I mean, this is the time to do it, to run, to move. Get off them chairs. Uh, don't uh, sit around. Write your list. Add to your list every day. Call people and make appointments. Show the video. Invite people to treat them right. you got so many different tools to use. So get out there and use them. So paychecks and promotions, what does that look like? Well, Eagles Challenge just started. The new Eagles Challenge just started, and the last couple of weeks have been leading up to massive action. You know, best time, best time of the year for send out cards. You know, uh, most network marketing companies this may not be, or it may be their best time of the year, depending on the product and service that they have. But in send out cards, the next, literally, the next four months are the largest volume months. They're the largest recruiting months. They're the largest. Customer gathering months. They're the largest of everything. This we are in the golden uh, four months of each year right now. Yay. It started. <laughs> and, okay, maybe uh, I do cool. like window. So, <laughs> so um, the New Eagles Challenge. If you go look at the New Eagles Challenge, and if you don't know where that is, if you if you log into your account and on the banner, it'll tell you Eagles Challenge. Go there and read the rules. But basically, it uh, is going to reward you with points by getting promotions. Hence the name of this call tonight, Paychecks and Promotions. You're going to get paychecks by rank advancing, by getting promotions in our comp plan. A new distributor comes in and they get their uh, customer requirement met. They promote the senior distributor and they also get 50 bucks if they do it within seven days. Another thing that happens is all of that front-end commission is released to the sponsor and the upline. 
So paychecks and promotions go hand in hand. The way our plan is 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 set up, it it, it is set up to get rank advancements. Rank advancements causes success. Not only that, is every time you rank advance, the money gets better in that new group. And we're, this is not going to be a comp plan call, but paychecks and promotions is what it's all about, guys. It's it's all about that. And if you follow the Eagles challenge, it will reward you not only with commissions and bonuses like we're like we already know about. But in the challenge, it's going to reward you with points by getting those promotions and helping other people on your team get promotions two levels deep. So on your first level, somebody you personally sponsor becomes a senior distributor. You get a point for that. Second level, uh, they put that new person you just brought in, bring somebody in. That person gets their custom requirement, goes to senior distributor. You get point for that. And when one of those people advances to manager, they get two points and you get two points. So paychecks and promotions. Whenever somebody gathers customers, it releases cab bonuses and leadership bonuses. And again, this isn't a comp plan call, and we need to have one of those, don't we? We need to have one of those. Yeah. Yeah. We'll spell that out. Uh, um, I I have a new um, presentation, if you will, that spells out the cab bonus, the hundred dollar cabs for getting your customer requirements. It also spells out the leadership bonuses, which is up to two hundred and thirty-five dollars. Um, it also spells out um, the different leadership commissions that come to you monthly from eighth level to infinity. So we'll, we'll have fun with that. But this week is about getting out there, and in network marketing, it doesn't change. I can't hear you. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm. I'm sorry. Oh no! I all I said was it's, it's starting your blast. Paycheck the promotions. The, uh, oh. You know, right now is a great time to start your blast. How it run all the way through January if you can. Right. Well, right. Yeah, exactly. The next four months is the is the gold months. Now January, February, and March are awesome months too. It's it's That's the right. second it's the second best period. But but uh, um, where I was going with that was. Sorry. Where? Where was I going? <laughs> Denver. I mean, I was on, I was on a roll. Oh, I'm I'm on a plane with these with these uh, these veterans, these network marketing veterans, and I'm talking to these folks. Um, uh, you know, um, Vanessa, Vanessa Hunter, who's new in our marketing team. She actually flew from Salt Lake with us over here to Denver um, for this event tomorrow and the next day. So. Getting to talking to her, and and uh, she's she's telling me, you know, Lori and I have only done a couple different network marketing companies, and the other companies we didn't stay in them long enough to have any type of success, and I always understood the money. I under I always understood the fact that that you can help somebody else become successful, and the more people that you help become successful or get what they want. That, that's probably a better way to say it. The more people you help uh, get what they want, the more you'll get what you want. If you focus on what their needs are, their wants are, their desires are, focus on your, your first level, second level, third level. What are their needs, wants, and desires? Help them get that and yours will be met automatically. So I've always known that, but talking to Vanessa over at the Denver airport before we got the cab over here, um, Network marketing is all the same. It hasn't changed for 23 years. You simply make a list. Who are you going to talk to? Make that list. Who are you going to talk to? Then you're going to invite them. How are you going to invite them? Well, there's lots of ways to invite, and we've trained uh, a whole bunch of different scripts over the past few years of how to invite people. But basically, it's it boils down to this. You know, language is good. Language is key. But language is best when you're enthusiastic about what you're doing. So you don't have to really say any words correctly to the right to the right person, and they're going to see your enthusiasm, and they're going to watch your video, and then you're going to say, which one are you, a one, two, or a three? One being you don't want uh, to be a customer or a distributor. Two being you want to become a customer or look at the customer options. And three being you want to become or look into the distributor package at which time you take them to other videos or to a home meeting or to an online hangout opportunity meeting, hint, hint, um, or things like this. So yeah, that's you know, network marketing. It's been the same forever. 
you know, when you say, um, you know, a number one, a number two, or number three, my thoughts with the number one, somebody's maybe not ready, because a no usually means just not now. Uh, they may do it later on. Um, so when somebody says, I'm a number one, I'm not really interested at this time, no, whatever that means, I think that's a great time to have them send a card. Right. Great time to send a card. Number two, they're a customer, great. Let's show you the, the options of becoming a customer, look at the videos, tell, you know, kind of fill them out for what they think, you know, hey look, are you, gonna, are you planning on sending gifts or only cards? Are you planning on sending a few cards a month or several cards a month? What does that look like to you and it'll help me steer you to which package you're going to want to look at. And number three, they say they're number three, they're either ready to get started right now, sign me up, I'm ready to sign on the dotted line, or I'm a three but I need more information. So show me the opportunity video. It's all there. Yep, and a three-way call. So the number three, get a three-way call as soon as possible after the show me the opportunity or even before that show me opportunity. So paychecks and promotions, um, focusing on not only your own promotions but other people's promotions first and second level and, and deeper because that causes paychecks and promotions in your group which causes Eagles challenge points for all those folks as well. So focusing on paychecks and promotions of the people that are on your first and second level and then teach them to do that same thing for the next 30 days to the end of September, win the Eagles Challenge or win some money in the Eagles Challenge. They're giving away like $8,700. Actually, it's like $10,000 worth of stuff this yeah. this month. So, That's yeah. some really cool t-shirts. Yeah, the, I want the t-shirt. i got to have the t-shirt. And the only way you can get the t-shirt Honestly, they're going to give away one T-shirt if you have five points to each distributorship. So anybody in the entire Send Out Cards family who gets five points in this challenge, they're going to get one T-shirt per distributorship. And the only so so Lori is going to get the free T-shirt. Okay, Lori will get the free one. I will have to pay nine or ten or twelve bucks for mine, but I get the right to buy that T-shirt because we got five points. That's how you get it. Yeah. You can't just go buy these t-shirts after this challenge is over. You will not be able to do that. You have to actually have gotten five points in one of the Eagles challenges. It's the only way you can get this t-shirt. That's, that's, to me, that's, I mean, that's kind of silly, right? I mean, I no. want the thousand bucks too, but that's, that's... No, let's do the thousand bucks and the t-shirt, but if for some reason that doesn't happen, you're going to want those t-shirts. They're so fun. We have so many of them from over the past years that I may not wear some of them still now, but I can do some fun things with them. I'm planning on actually, maybe this will be silly, but not planning on cutting little squares and making me a, myself a memory quilt with them. So I thought that'd be kind of a fun thing, but you know, I wear the ones that are as of net new and moving us, but and then when we move on to a new t-shirt, I put that one in a pile where I can actually have some fun with it. But I don't know. So Wearing those T-shirts has actually allowed us to answer people's questions, what we do, and those lead to invitations, those which leads to presentations, which leads to uh, customers and distributors. So that's why you want those kinds of T-shirts because people go, what What does that mean? What, yeah. uh, what does that mean? I help people or I make money by help it, by being nice to people. And that's what the T-shirt says. I, I make money by help by being nice to people. That's what it says. So people are going to go, what does that mean? Well, I could show you how to do the same thing. Well, what do you mean by that? See, the invitation is just going to happen. That's why we like it. Now, if anybody has any comments or questions, uh, go ahead and type them in there below the video here. You can see that comments area. Um, it looks like the last comments that were made there was George. He showed up on Tuesday night and said, where is everybody? And then he said, oh, yeah, it moved to Thursday. So um, yeah. <laughs> if you have any comments or questions down there, go ahead and type them in now. Um, and uh, we're, get, we're fixing to kind of wrap up here. And, but before we wrap up, I want to talk about last week. Uh, last week was really exciting for us. 
uh, in send out cards, the send out cards world. It really was. There, there was a lot of cool stuff going on. I don't know if y'all felt it, but one Eagles challenge ended, another one started. Cody did a couple different conference calls and SOC TVs about massive action. Um, by the way, that was week 13 of the 52 week to the revolution convention. Um, but it, there was a lot of exciting stuff going on. Um, and I, and I hope you guys all felt that and, and actually showed up on SOC TV and, and the conference calls. But if you look in the archives, the Hangout archives and video tips, if you go to that page on this website, you'll see a little uh, text write-up that we did from last week's activity. We didn't actually get a Hangout recorded last week. We, we were watching SOC TVs and doing conference calls, so we, we counted that as our online activity, but then we did write this post in place of the, the, the Hangout. One of the things we've learned from our experience in sent out cards is this. September through January is the best volume and recruiting time of the year. Now I'm reading this, this post back here. And then it says, listen to a uh, one-hour interview uh, style conference call with Cody Bateman and some top leaders about massive action. And then I, I actually embedded that conference call right there. So you can actually click on that. It'll open in a new window. And you can hear Cody talk to Margie Alaprandi and her friend Leslie. And it's an incredible call. I then also posted the SOC TV video link, the direct one, so you can go watch the, the SOC TV that Cody did after that conference call. And it kind of sets the mood for the next four months. That's what it does. Um, uh, how it's, and then I, this is kind of like a little joke. It's kind of how I talk to myself. It says, self, how am I going to track my massive action over the next 90 days. How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? Let us help you with that. It says go here, print off the tracking sheets. If you go there, you'll see that there's a place to add 10 names and track 10 people's at 10 prospect activities uh, through about five or six different actions, uh, different different exposures, if you will. Go click on that. Print you off three of those a week because Cody talks about having 30 people in your funnel each week. That means you handed them a DVD. That means you sent them a card with a, a, a token key and a DVD. That says you sent the campaigns that we have, the three card campaign, the sorting campaign that you can go pick up uh, at Send Out Cards account, username sorting, password campaigns. Go share it over to your account and send those. Laura Ricksaker has sent out, I think it's close to 30 of those campaigns in the last few weeks and she's going to start getting results on those campaigns you could be, because you cannot send those campaigns and not get results so we're going to have we're going to start getting results coming in off of those campaigns uh, I had a guy call me yesterday morning who I sent the campaign to I've sent out uh, I think I'm less than Lara by by a bit I think I've only sent out Lori and I have only sent out like 10 or 15 of those now the goal was to send out 20 of those and I'm admitting to you right now that we didn't get those 20 out. It, it, we should have gotten, uh, uh, I can't remember what the numbers were, I think it was 20, it was one a day, campaign a day, and it's not quite been 20 days yet since we started that, but we're, we're a little bit behind of that goal, but we'll make it, we'll hit there. But anyway, I had a guy call me up yesterday morning and said, okay, Mr. Smith, I'm ready to sign up to your gig. <laughs> That was a good phone call. Now I've talked to the guy, you know, lots on the phone and different things like that, and I've even had him watch a video or, or even had a, you know, ten-minute phone call with him several times. <coughs> he lives in Georgia, uh, but but I did send the campaign, and he calls me up yesterday morning, says let's get going. So go ahead and read through that article from week thirteen back there, and uh, get doing those things that it talks about there. Paychecks and promotions. That's what's gonna. That's what's gonna help your team make money. It's gonna help you make money. And you know what? Yes. Sometimes it is about the money. Did you plop down four hundred dollars to start your own business to not make money? No, you didn't. You started your send out cards business so you could make some money. So if you list, share, sponsor like the basic training program talks about in the training center. You can't help but make money. That's just how it works. It's kind of uh, it's kind of simple actually. And network marketing has been the same since the inception. 
Some companies say list, share, sponsor. Some companies say uh, invite, present, close. Some people say there's five things that they do. You know what? It boils down to you need a working list of people that you're going to invite. You need to you invite. invite them and share with them. Ask a few questions and sponsor. That's what you do. Sponsor a rep or sponsor a customer. Or if they're a number one, get their address, get their birthday, have them send a card if they want to. Um, and that's the prospecting process. That's what it is. Yep. So I'm not seeing any comments or questions over here. Wow. So I'm um, not sure. Oh, 40 campaign sent. Laura Ricks. Laura Ricksaker. Yay, Laura. Go no, Laura. 40 campaigns over the month. So she's doubled. You know, the goal was to get 20 out. Laura, we're still behind on that. We got to get I that. I know, back. Laura, you're making us look bad. No, that's good, Laura. That's that's good. That's <laughs> awesome. Make us look bad all you want. Yes. 40 campaigns sent over the last month. You'll start getting uh, uh, the the success stories from that. So, anyways, I yep. think we're about done. We're getting to the top of the hour. I'm not seeing any questions or comments. We're excited to actually start hearing some of the results from these campaigns that are going out so make sure you share them with us so that we can uh, share it with uh, with, you, with all you guys on our next uh, DNL team hangout next Thursday so um, with that said you know we don't want to take up all of your Thursday night and um, so we love having you on here love having this chat and um, please email us if you have any questions something you'd like to have talked about you know, Dave mentioned we're going to do compensation, which I think is fabulous. We all need a reminder of that sometimes. Um, you know, maybe sometimes some of us don't even know really what that looks like yet. So we're going to go over that. Maybe we'll do that next week. Um, and then hopefully we'll have some fun stories from these campaigns that are going out for next week as well. So make sure you share those fun stories. Where do they share them at, Dave? Uh, they share them right here on the comments on the live team hangout comment box. Yep. Hold on. Can you listen? Can you hear that noise? No. You can't hear the motorcycle clock? <laughs> no. The Harley it's clock. Yep, yeah, it's 8 o'clock eight straight up and it made a little uh, motorcycle funny. noise. So if you wondered what that growling was, if anybody heard it. That's show us around the room there, Lori. By, by the way, I'll show you some of our first. I was just thinking that same thing. So I'll show you our very first thing in our Harley room as we get ready to, to uh, finish decorating. And let's see, maybe... So there's the closet door. I'll get a little closer. Maybe you can see it here. So we put some fun locks on it. They don't really lock, but, um, well, it does. It locks. You can put a lock on that. Yeah. It's like an old barn door uh, handles and clevis, you know, lock thing. It's kind of cool. Kind of uh, so Lori's that. painted the doors black. I've painted the white. room in some white and stuff. Now I've got, we've got a fun couch here. Let's see if I can show you the couch. Some pillows, that's the curtains that are going up. That's the material. Um, the but filing cabinet's going to be orange. The filing cabinet's going to have some Harley orange on it. I don't know. I might have changed those colors. You don't know yet. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in the midst of doing the filing cabinet. Um, we'll just kind of keep you posted on how it goes. I have a desk here, but it's not quite done yet, so I want to save that too. I'm excited about it. Um, but, you know... What's your fancy? What turns you on? Why did you join? Send out cards. Why do you have your own home business? Uh, what does it take to get it moving? Um, just do it. If you're excited and enthusiastic about your business, you're going to have people join you. People will ask you, what's up? Something's different. We've had people ask that, for, to, uh, um, ask that of us a couple of different times. They've seen a different energy about us. We're not in the negative construction world anymore, and uh, they want to know. They want to know what's different in our life that put these smiles on our faces, and that would be getting paid, making people happy. <laughs> That's that simple, folks. And there's so many people out there that love, would love this product, would love this opportunity first, and we just need to sort and find them. Find out which ones are which, and. Um, Let's start our, our blast now. Let's get it going, and let's let's rock this thing out. I'm so excited. So, yes, you are. Compensation next week. Um, also, 
There has been some requests to do some uh, live opportunity meetings, uh, having Lori share the opportunity on a hangout type situation. If you're interested in that, go ahead and write some comments down there or I send us an email. Either way. Either way. So. We did that a little while back and we loved it. Don't know why we stopped doing that. Because it was working. Because it was working. Because <laughs> we're always reinventing the wheel. George Dumuth George Dumuth brought in a team of close to thirty people using those online presentations we were doing. And uh, George should probably smack us for stopping doing those. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we got them down to about 23 minutes. Uh, Lori and I actually have a slideshow we'd, we'd walk through and talk through, and we'd explain a, a few more details that are not explained in the videos, and people were joining the team. So if you're right. interested in that, let us know. We'd be happy to fire those back up. I believe we can actually get it more like 15 minutes. I'd be thrilled with that. People are so busy. The less time you spend at it, they think this is easy. Doesn't yep. take a lot of time. Get people on here. Let's rock and roll this thing. So yeah, I'd love to start one. And um, so Thursday night, DNL team hangout. Uh, next week, compensation. And uh, Dave, have fun in uh, Denver. And um, God, remember you guys, these freedom rights are another fabulous third-party tool for you to use. I've had people that have been on the fence, they go to one of those and it, they, they jump right over and join us. So yep. another fabulous tool besides that, you have the opportunity meetings Friday nights. You have people in these areas where the freedom rights are going, follow them. Follow the Sock Road Tours. Dave and I will be in Virginia and uh, we're, we're going to be doing a, uh, an opportunity meeting there and a training as well. So get on the Sock Road Tour, follow that and use that to help build your business in different areas. And um, I think that's about all I have to say. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next Thursday. And let's have some stories. Email some stories about what you're, uh, what you're experiencing with the campaign. We would love to hear them. And uh, I think that's all I have to say. Okay. Other than peace out, have a great night, and we'll see you uh, next Thursday. Talk to you soon. Later.